Happy Booktubeathon! So it is officially past midnight. Now Booktubeathon has started. I decided very last minute that I was going to participate, but I was hoping to finish my current read before Booktubeathon started, but I did not. So I'm currently listening to the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Hopefully I will be able to finish listening to that tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to start The Wonder of Us by Kim Culbertson, which is my first book for the Booktubeathon that I'm officially starting for Booktubeathon. And this one fulfills the challenge of having a person on the cover. So I will be reading hopefully a lot tomorrow. I do have work in the morning, but I'm gonna go to bed now and hopefully I will be able to listen to a little bit more of my audiobook before bed and then get some reading done tomorrow, but I will update you in the morning. I look like I was punched in the face multiple times, so that's great. But I just got home from work about half an hour ago and I made myself something to eat. I didn't read a lot on my break. I have started The Wonder of Us, which is my first book to be with on read, but didn't get to read a lot of my break because there are a lot of people in the break room, so I was talking, socializing, go figure. But I'm 20 pages into this and I'm really hoping to finish it by the end of the day. And I'm also working my way through the audiobook for Gentleman's Guide to... G Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And I'm pretty sure I've listened to about like 100 pages of it, so I really want to get that finished. Dear God, I look awful right now. Just atrocious. <laughs> but I'm gonna go and read. So I'm about to go to bed, so I wanted to give you guys an update on how Booktubeathon day one went. So I was actually able to finish my first book, which was The Wonder of Us, and I wasn't a really big fan of it, unfortunately, but that happens. And then I also have been able to listen to over 200 pages now of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I'm planning on listening to a bit more before I actually go to bed, but I am going to try and get to bed early since I'm working tomorrow morning once again. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up next. I'll probably pick up something short but we shall see tomorrow and I will update you then. So I have officially finished two books for Booktubeathon which I'm really excited about. It is Booktubeathon day two today. I was working all morning and then I just have been reading ever since and I kind of forgot to vlog a little bit there but I was able to finish the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. This didn't fulfill any challenges. I had just been reading it before Booktubeathon started and then I'm also now reading Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. This fulfills the challenge of reading a book in one day because I'm planning on finishing it today and I also started it today. I did complete that challenge yesterday but this one is the one that I specifically was doing for that challenge and I'm currently on page 67 so I'm making my way through it. It's about 270 pages something like that so it's short but not like extremely short like it's not just 200 pages but I will probably most likely be able to finish this today. It's a pretty quick read so I'm hoping to delve into it more later. I don't have much planned for the rest of the evening. I'm just gonna clean up my room a little bit because there's some stuff on the floor that should not be on the floor. I'm going driving tonight because I'm currently learning how to drive because I put that off for forever and then my mom's not gonna be home so I'll probably read a lot tonight because it's gonna be just me. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more reading done but I will update you later. Nope, not there. Over. She does not understand. Oh, almost, no. Still does not get it. <gasps> it's so close. Yeah, there's the Ella Bella. Is she gonna leave? Yeah. Eating the door. Oh my god, I look like I was run over by a car. I'm very tired, but I just got back from driving not too long ago, and now here we are. I'm filming this on the camera that I usually use for filming because I usually film all my vlog stuff on my phone, but the storage is basically full, so it won't let me take videos, which is annoying, but it is currently 8.52 p.m., and I am 110 pages into Finding Audrey, so I kind of wanted to go to bed at like 11 which would give me two hours more of reading so I feel like getting a little bit over 100 pages done in two hours is reasonable. I might end up just going to bed at midnight and I'm just reading up until midnight because I want to get this done. I want to achieve this challenge. I can do it. I believe in myself but for now I'm going to continue reading even though I'm very tired. <laughs> what is happening over here? 
I finished it! So I was able to read Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella in a day, which I'm very excited about. So that gets that challenge done. Sorry if you can hear a humming in the background, my fan's on. But now I'm gonna go to bed. I finished it with like 10 minutes to spare, so I need to go to bed. I'm tired and I have to work tomorrow, so it is bedtime for me. And then I will decide what I'm going to read tomorrow and what challenge I'm going to do next tomorrow because I'm sleepy. So I will update you then come in oh so rude I have a great wake-up committee look at these little dudes oh well it'd be helpful if you could actually see them there you go good morning I just got up like 10 15 minutes ago I should be getting ready for work right now but here I am I still need to decide what I'm going to read today I'm trying to figure that out because I don't know if I want to use my freebie today and read a really short book I was considering doing the read a book outside today but I think I want to go to the park with my friend for that so I think I'm going to wait on that one I'm still so tired and I don't want to go to work but I'm gonna go and get ready and I'm going to listen to the audio audiobook for The Wizard of Oz as I get ready for work so yay happy Wednesday so I am now ready for work I have that like Wednesday Adams look going on here but I decided that I'm going to pick up American Street by Ibizo Boy so hopefully this will be a quicker read and if I don't finish it today I'll just finish it tomorrow morning even though I have to film tomorrow morning I'll finish it before I start filming and then I will still be on track for my challenge because I think I'm going to try and do the read a book outside tomorrow tomorrow since I'm off tomorrow but for today this is my read so I'm gonna go to work and hopefully I'll read on break but I will update you later. It is much later in the day. I was running some errands this evening and I got home from work a little bit later than I had expected so I did not get a lot of reading done today. I'm only on page 40 of American Street which is unfortunate because I was hoping to finish it today but it's like eight o'clock now so I do have some time still to read and then I don't work tomorrow which is kind of nice so I can read tomorrow, but I don't really know if I'm gonna finish this. I'm just reading very slow, so I'm gonna go and have a shower. Actually, I might have a bath so that I can read a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna go and read. Oh, I did terribly reading today. I was not really in a reading mood. I was kind of being social. What? How weird. But I read a little bit more of American Street as I was having my bath, so I believe I read like 20 pages more, so not a lot more, but I have to tidy up my room a little bit because that's always is what I start my nighttime routine with. So I'm going to tidy up my room and listen to the audiobook for Wizard of Oz. And I'm going to, I hope, finish that audiobook today. And I'm going to probably read a little bit later into the night since I have tomorrow off, which is so exciting. And tomorrow, I don't really have anything big planned. I do have to film a video and edit it and get it uploaded. Well, actually, that's going to take a while. But at least other than that, I have to make some notes for the meeting that I have coming up. And then on Friday, I'm off as well, but I have a meeting so that will take a good chunk of my day But I have to drive four hours to get to my meeting So at least in the car I can read because I'm not the one driving because as you guys have learned I don't drive so for now I'm going to try and get as much done of American Street as I can But hopefully I will be able to get Wizard of Oz done So I'm gonna go and do that stuff and I will update you right before I go to bed So it is about 11:30, and you can see a kitten sleeping in the background So I'm gonna try and make this quick because I don't want to wake her up. Sorry, you can hear the fan. I just finished Wizard of Oz. Yay! So now I'm going to read American Street a little bit before bed. So I've now finished the challenge of reading a book with a person on the cover. I finished the challenge of reading a hyped book. I used Wizard of Oz for that. And then I finished the challenge of reading a book in one day, which I used Finding Audrey for. So now I'm currently reading American Street, which will fulfill the challenge of reading a book about a character that isn't like you and then the only other challenges I have to do are reading the book that I bought because of the cover and then just reading the seventh book so I'm doing pretty well so far I'm right on track like right where I want it to be but yeah now I'm going to make like the little kitten and go to sleep hello so it is booktubeathon is it day four I would think so yeah it's day four today is Thursday and I am doing pretty well with my current read it's 12 p.m. almost and I am going going to take a break from reading. I'm actually going to continue listening to my audiobook. I started before Booktubeathon listening to Stars Above on audiobook, so I'm going to continue with this one and it might be my seventh read, but I'm going to listen to that as I put my new 
computer together. It's sitting right there. So I bought myself an iMac because it's good for video editing. That was taking a big toll on my laptop and making it a lot slower. So I decided to invest in an iMac and I'm super excited about it. I'm going to use it for writing as well. So it's just going to be kind of a good all around thing. So now I'm going to set it up and listen to an audiobook while I do so. Artist and the one whose eyes flashed when they met his. I just got back from running errands not too long ago. It's almost four o'clock. I haven't filmed yet and my video was supposed to be going up at four so it's probably not going to go up until nine. I honestly wasn't even going to film because I'm just tired and I don't feel like putting on makeup and doing my hair and stuff but a lot recently I have missed days of uploading so I'm trying to stop doing that and not get into the habit of doing it so I'm just going to kind of suck it up and film and at least I'll be able to edit on my new computer computer which is kind of exciting but I'm just going to go into the bathroom and get ready and I'm going to listen to the stars above audiobook as I get ready so let's do that my hair and my makeup in order to film and I feel much better now. I feel very motivated so I am going to go and film today's video and I got done about an hour of Stars Above as I was doing my makeup and stuff so as you guys were watching that montage thing I was listening to Stars Above now I'm going to go and film because that needs to happen. So I just finished filming. It didn't take me too long. Actually it kind of took me longer than I was expecting but I'm now just waiting for the footage to import onto my new computer and while I'm waiting for that I'm going to continue with American Street which I'll show you now what page I'm on to confirm. 85. So like slowly but surely. I feel like I'll be able to finish it by the end of the day today and I'm going to go to bed early since I have to be up really early to go to my meeting tomorrow but I'm hoping that we will power through and finish this. <laughs> I have become an editing zombie. But it's so fun to edit on this computer. Look at how big everything is. That's not my most attractive face, but cool. My video's uploading. So I actually did the thing where I got the video up. Just four hours late? No, three hours late. That's not that bad. Three and a half, almost four, basically four. But I think I'm going to just plan out some reviews on my laptop. I'm trying to kind of clean up my laptop because I have a bunch of stuff on there that can now go on my desktop, but I need to figure that out. I probably wanna up reading more until tonight but that's fine I will get to it I'm really not worried about it I'm not in a rush I'm kind of ahead of schedule for booktubeathon so I'm like nah I got time it's fine but now I'm going to go and play Jeopardy with my dad because that is what we do every night at 7 30 so I'm gonna go and do that so it is now 11 p.m. I have been planning some reviews tonight and just watching she's carrying a hair elastic can you give me that please she's not gonna give it to me 
Thank you. As you can see, my bed is still a mess and she wants to go to bed, so I really do need to get that cleaned up really quickly. There's another hair elastic. She's gonna find that. But I didn't read anymore, didn't listen to any more audiobooks. I just kind of wanted to have a chill day where I didn't really put too much pressure on myself since I do have this big meeting tomorrow, so I have to be up at five-ish tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired and I want to be well rested for this meeting, so I'm just going to do that. Didn't read a lot today, didn't finish a book, but I'm totally okay with that. I think I'm ahead of schedule anyway, so that's fine. So I will update you tomorrow at some point. I don't really know when because it's going to be a busy, crazy day. Say goodnight, Ella. Say goodnight. Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning and I am ready for my meeting. I am bringing with me American Street, which I'm hoping I will finish on the way to my meeting. And then I'm also bringing my audiobook, Four Stars Above, which would also be cool to finish, but I won't be able to do both. But I have to go to this meeting. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be a time. So I don't know. Hopefully this goes well, but we shall see. So I will update you after my meeting because I'm probably just going to sleep on the way there, maybe read, but probably just gonna sleep. So I'm back from my meeting. It is about 10 30 I think. Yeah it's about 10 30 at night. I got back about six hours ago. I haven't done any reading since I've been back. My meeting went well. It was just four hours in the car on the way there and then four hours in the car on the way back but we left so early that I slept for most of the time on the way there and then on the way back I just didn't read at all. I just did not get any reading done today. I'm only on page 134 of American Street. I'm doing really badly with Booktubeathon now. This is kind of where I've started to fall off the wagon, unfortunately. I should be starting A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray today, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I think tomorrow I'm going to just pick up a couple of random short classics and I'm going to try and get them done. I think I'm going to actually reread Through the Looking Glass and Alice in Wonderland, so that will count as two more books. I'm not feeling too well, so normally I do most of my reading before bed, but since I'm not really feeling too well right now, I think I'm just gonna go straight to bed. Sorry that I didn't really update today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to update more. Good night and I will update you again tomorrow. I have been a little reading machine today which I am very excited about. I have finished two books today which is awesome. So I finished the audiobook for Stars Above which was really good. I actually enjoyed this more than I thought I would and then I also finished reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll because I decided to read that. So now I am moving on to aggressively noisy car. Thank you. Now I'm moving on to Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, which shouldn't take me very long at all. It's tiny. It's great. And obviously I loved Alice in Wonderland. I mean, come on. And then I'm also moving on to A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I'm going to listen to the audiobook. I haven't read any more of American Street because I've just been doing other stuff and listening to audiobook. Well, and I sat down and read this like very quickly. It took me like half an hour or something. I read it super quickly. I just did that this morning and it is now 1.16 p.m. So I have been a reading machine which is awesome so yeah I am going to go and continue reading and doing stuff and yay my great reading day continues I finally finished American Street I am so excited about it it was a really great book I liked it a lot and I'm going to include it in a video soon because I'm going to be doing in if you liked this then you'll like this tag I've done about four of them in the past and I really like doing them so I'm going to do an update because I have quite a few to talk about and this is one that I think you would really enjoy if you liked The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This was just so good. I think I'm going to try and do a review for it, but I'm so glad that I was able to read it. Definitely a character who is very different from me. It was an eye-opening and very powerful read, so that was a great one, and I'm glad I kind of took my time with it. That's why it took me quite a while to read. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up next. Originally, I was going to pick up my cover read, which is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, but I don't think I have enough time to finish a big book like this in that short amount of time so I might still pick it up. I finished Through the Looking Glass also. Totally forgot about that because I read that right after I read Alice in Wonderland. So after that, I picked up Through the Looking Glass and I read that super quickly right after that. So that was awesome. So I finished three books today and I'm going to do one of the last two challenges tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. I'm so tired. <laughs> so it's Saturday night and I'm about to go to bed because I don't know why I keep on getting like so tired at night. Like it's not like I'm doing anything crazy, especially today. 
I didn't really do a lot today. Like I edited some videos, planned out some reviews, but I did a lot of reading today. So I guess that might be why I'm so tired. But the only challenge that I haven't completed yet is the read a book outside and I'm planning on doing that one tomorrow. And I like loosely completed the cover by challenge because I just replaced the one that I was going to do with Alice in Wonderland. I'm just really tired right now and I need to go to bed. So I'm going to go and do that. Okay, good night. Good morning. I'm so tired. I've been up for about 45 minutes-ish now, maybe an hour, but I was just organizing my shelves this morning, just kind of fixing them up a little bit. They look the exact same, but I was looking at my TBR shelves and look at this. After book two with on, there's so much space. Look at that big space right there to be filled with new books that I haven't read yet, but this is the current state of my TBR now that I have kind of squeezed everything in there and consolidated. I'm so excited. It's so much smaller. So I'm just about to start filming my July wrap-up, which is why I look like a normal human again. But I have started my read for today, which is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I decided to pick this up again because I had picked it up when I first came back from Europe and I just wasn't really in a reading mood, so I never really got into it. But now I'm starting to get into it. I'm 120 pages in, which is awesome, and I'm slowly but surely making my way through a thousand pieces of you. I probably won't get it done and I'm not sure what time today but later I'm going to go to a park with my friend to read Hunting in the Snark. The last challenge that I have to complete is reading a book outdoors so I'm gonna try and get to that but for now I'm going to film and I will update you after I film and such. Look at how outside we are. Yeah. This is Zoe, the friend that I have been Hi. talking about going to the park with. We are at, there's a freaking drone over top of us and I can see the guy flying it and he is creepy. Can you please stop, sir? Is it leaving? It's like a big buzzing fly. Anyways, Hunting of the Snark. I'm reading it. What are you reading? Rules for 50-50 chances. Yay. Reading. Sad. So far. Is it sad? It's from Huntington. Is that a disease? It's a disease. Oh, yeah. 50-50 chance if one of your parents has it. Oh, God. That's really terrible. Sad. But we are at the riverfront, so this is our view. I can't even see if I'm actually getting it, but I'm going to assume that I am. But look at how outside we are, and I'm going to finish this book now. Okay, bye! Bye! I finished it! That took me how long do you think? I couldn't tell you. I don't know either. It went by really quickly. But it was good. It was very nonsensical, which is classic Carol. I don't know what time it is actually. 5.30. Ooh. Mm, Probably like an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes I'm gonna read like that. Yeah. Excellente. Fastest you've ever read in your entire life. It's true. So now I have completed all the challenges for Book Yay. Yay! I did the thing. Proud of you. Now I'm just hungry. Let's go get food. We're gonna go and get food. Hey guys, so it is officially the end of the book two -a As you guys saw, I finished all of the challenges. I was able to finish all my books. I'm so excited about it. I was able to read a total of nine books, which is awesome. I'm sitting on my floor right now. My room's still a mess. I really have to make my bed and I'm editing this vlog and also tomorrow's video. So I want to make this quick, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little wrap up for how I did for the book two -a -thon. If you guys want to know any thoughts about any of these books, then watch my July wrap-up because I will be talking about that there but other than that I'm just going to be talking about the books that I read and the challenges that they fulfilled. So first of all I have a few books that didn't fulfill any challenges and I just kind of read to read them. So the first one is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I had listened to the audiobook for this one and I had started it before Booktubeathon but I read the bulk of it during Booktubeathon so I am still counting it because I only read like maybe 100 pages before Booktubeathon so it still counts okay like maybe not but I'm counting it. Similarly is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. I started listening to the audiobook for this one as well before Booktubeathon started but also read the bulk of it during Booktubeathon or listened to it technically but it still counts. First up fulfilling challenge number one is The Wonder of Us by Kim Culbertson. This challenge was to read a book with a person on the cover and this one has two on it so woo! 
Oh, I have a visitor now. Hello. For challenge number two, I read Wizard of Oz and this challenge was to read a hyped book. So Wizard of Oz was pretty perfect for that. Challenge number three was to read a book in one day and this one I almost didn't make it, but I did end up making it and I read Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. So I think I might be getting four and five mixed up, but we're just gonna go with it. So challenge number four or five possibly was to read a book featuring a character that's very different from you. So I went with American Street by Ibby Zoboy. And this definitely was a character that was very different from me. And challenge number five was to read a book completely outdoors. And as you guys know, because I was just talking about it, I read The Hunting of the Snark by Lewis Carroll and finished this one just in the nick of time today. Challenge number six was to read a book that you bought because of the cover. So I went with Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll because this is one of my 32 copies. So it's definitely a cover by, and it also has illustrations by Camille Rose Garcia, which are amazing and on the covers. So cover by. Challenge number seven was to read seven books. So for this one, I guess I could count Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll because it's a seventh book that I read. So yay. So that's all I read for the book two with on. I had tons of fun and I hope you guys had fun too. If you participated and if not, I hope you enjoyed watching this reading vlog at least. If you guys liked this, then definitely let me know because I'm thinking about doing weekly reading vlogs. They might be a little bit more exciting than this one just because this one was a readathon. So there was kind of like, I'm reading this now and I have to do this now, but the other ones might be a little bit more casual. So let me know if you do like this. I really hope that this isn't too long because I feel like it's going to be very long. So I'm just going to stop talking now. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!